Well, let's talk to uh, Chris Hewitt, the Director of International Climate Services at the World Meteorological, uh, Meteorological Organization. Chris, welcome to the program. Thanks for joining us. So, as we've been hearing this month on track to be the hottest July, uh, the hottest month on record. So, is this the new normal, seeing these various temperature records break almost annually? Yeah, thank you for having me. So, yes, exactly, as you just heard from the UN Secretary General, so we're on track for... Um, a record month in July, and this is what we're seeing. We're seeing a long-term trend with global warming, increasing greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere is driving a warming of the planet. And so we would expect to see records be broken as we get into a warmer and warmer climate. We've been reporting uh, the wildfires raging in so many parts of uh, the world. I wonder to what extent our uh, extreme weather events that we've seen this month prompting our governments, global leadership, to, uh, to act more quickly on climate? Yeah, I don't know what governments are doing, but you're right, the, the wildfires are indeed a worrying sort of signal of what can happen with, with extreme heat, so that they also depend on rainfall as well. But as we get into a warmer and warmer climate, we would anticipate we'd have more heat waves, and that could indeed be linked to, to wildfires, and so it's, it's not up to me, it's up to the governments and authorities to decide how to respond to that. The WMO is predicting that there's, uh, I think, a 98% likelihood that at least one of the next five years will be the warmest on record ever. How do we best prepare for that? Yeah, so that's another worrying sign, you're right. So um, the reason we're saying that is we have the long-term global warming and for the last few years, we've had La Nina conditions in the tropical Pacific, which tend to rain back the temperature increases. And now we're moving into a state where we're looking to develop El Nino conditions later this year. And El Nino is typically associated with, with warmer global average temperatures. And so that five-year prediction, so almost or very likely that we'll see the warmest year in the next five years, is a combination of the long-term global warming and moving into warmer waters in the tropical Pacific, influencing the global climate. So we need to prepare ourselves for potentially more records. So this July being a record month, we could anticipate we'll be breaking more records in the coming years. And as you said, very likely that we'll see a record warm year. So the warmest year on record so far is back in 2016. And so we'll be looking, unfortunately, to break that within the next five years. It's very easy to listen to this and, as private individuals, just absolutely despair. I mean, as, as private individuals, uh, what can we do, what should we do, if anything, to make a difference? So I guess there's two aspects to that as private individuals. One is the increase in greenhouse gas emissions, so they are driving the warming. And so we can all uh, play a role there in reducing the, the carbon emissions, and that will then, hopefully, if there's enough of a reduction in the emissions, limit the warming and if there was drastic reductions then maybe even reverse the warming but that's a very difficult challenge so governments tried to do this through the cop process cop 28 we had the one in glasgow a few years ago and egypt last year and this year the united arab emirates so there's trying to limit the warming and then there's also adapting to the warming so the, the heat waves that we're seeing at the moment so the citizens can try and prepare themselves for hot conditions um stay inside on the hot part of the day there are various common sense things we can all try and also um, authorities are trying to keep the public informed as well about heat waves and so help, hopefully people can prepare themselves for um, impactful weather events. Chris, good to talk to you. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. Chris Hewitt from uh, the World Meteorological Organisation. Thank you.